First of all, lots of people know about you, but anyway, uh, could you talk about who is it, Sergey Belosov or Sage Bell? Right, I'm a CEO and founder of Acronis, that's my main role. I'm also involved with a family of venture funds called Runa Capital, which have over 100 companies in the portfolio, including companies which uh, were present on the conference today, Nginx and MariaDB. Um, and uh, prior to that, I built several technology companies. I'm a Singaporean citizen. I live between Singapore, Schaffhausen, and Boston. I have seven children, and I think that's enough. <laughs> So, Acronis is a really great company about cyber protection and hybrid cloud too. And the company already took a big step from uh, 15 years. Because of that, we can uh, say, we can you say about Acronis and future projects? Well, Acronis will stay in cyber protection. There is still a lot to do in cyber protection um, on multiple fronts, uh, on security and safety. Perhaps things are okay, you can do much better on accessibility, privacy and authenticity. You can make it much more efficient and much easier because still today a lot of people, a lot of um, devices, a lot of organizations are not fully protected. And to make them protected we need to make things even easier, even more cost and um, otherwise efficient and even more secure, more reliable. And that is something which is uh, still a lot of engineering and a lot of effort. Uh, as I was talking about cyber protection, the, there is a big step from e EU. I'm talking about GDPR, of course. Uh, what do you think about GDPR and digital privacy as a CEO of the cyber protection company? I think it's a very good step. I think GDPR is definitely a law today. I don't think a large number of organizations actually is following GDPR. I think also GDPR at the moment is something which is implemented on sort of one-time basis, so you have to get the GDPR certification and then at some point, maybe one year later, you will have to recertify. And, and so it's not a constant process in reality. In order to be compliant, in order to protect privacy uh, and protect safety of uh, your users, which is your customers, your vendors, your employees, your partners, you have to constantly evolve because your IT infrastructure is evolving together with your business is changing all the time. There are new applications, new data, new systems and so this is a constant process. But it's a good step. It's also a good step to educate especially small and medium businesses. This is something which they have to do. Uh, we are in Bulgaria at the Cyber Protection Developer Conference. There are many, many important names about cybersecurity from Microsoft, Google and of course Acronis. What do you want to say about this great conference? It's a very good conference. We really like it. We hope to make it even bigger next year. I think cyber protection is a topic which is uh, in some ways not new, but in some ways extremely new. And so there is a lot of new things to talk about every year. We are very happy with this turnout. We have a lot of people. Uh, we are happy also with the quality of uh, the content. So I think something which we should repeat next year and get even more cooperation uh, from uh, Sofia State University and other universities in Bulgaria. Uh, we are speaking of Bulgaria. There is a news about a beautiful country, uh, country from Acronis. So your company has a new R&D center that protects the, for the cyber protection, AI and blockchain projects. Can you tell us your plans for this center? Uh, for, for this office? Yeah, R&D center. Right, we, we, we just um, want to have our central R&D center in Bulgaria. The R&D centers of modern technology companies are never focused on the citizens of the country. So we really don't see the center in Sofia only employing people from Bulgaria. Of course, there will be a very large percentage of people from Bulgaria, but we certainly want people from Turkey, people from Greece, people from Serbia, people from Moldova, people from Ukraine, people from Romania and any other country to come here. And so we would think that that's a good location. We think uh, Sofia is a nice city. It is uh, uh, safe, it is relatively cost efficient. Um, it is evolving very, very fast in terms of its connectivity, in terms of its uh, airport, in terms of its roads, in terms of its infrastructure. So I think today it's already nice and it will get better in the future and we will be able to attract uh, talent. I mean, for example, in Turkey, uh, specifically, there is a lot of people and a lot of people who have very good education and uh, coming work to work for, 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 for Acronis in Sofia is much closer than going to uh, work for some company in the United States. 
last question. Akron is really care about blockchain technology. Although it's generally known by cryptocurrency, uh, cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, it's a very important thing for the cybersecurity. Therefore, can you tell us about the uh, status of the blockchain and the importance of the uh, cybersecurity for Akronis? Yeah, I think uh, blockchain is a very good way to make sure that the piece of data is authentic and to make sure that you have a complex agreement about the piece of data between multiple parties. Of course, uh, one of the most uh, uh, valued pieces of data is money. And uh, so the first uh, usage of blockchain was in Bitcoin and Ethereum, and it was about cryptocurrencies. And, and it's still there, it's still a valid scenario. But uh, I think uh, there is much more attractive applications of blockchain in relation to other digital objects, documents, images, uh, files, archives, log files. And there is a huge application capabilities for blockchain in different industries, in finance, in healthcare, in insurance, in logistics, um, everywhere, frankly, frankly speaking. And it's a very good way to deal with explosion of data because ultimately you can ensure the authenticity of data with other means uh, at the current volumes of data, but we believe that the amount of data in the world will grow by millions of times. And so you have to make it extremely easy and extremely efficient and you can do it with blockchain. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. <laughs>